Hello everyone, today we will study some integrals that can be solved by integrals by parts. And we expect to add additional examples to the previous video or the video that you can find in the in the playlist called Integral Calculus. So the idea here is to provide additional examples to, to the other video. The other video had good examples but we can go even further, even we can uh, we can uh, mix some theory between uh, integration by parts and substitution. So it's a good idea to study this uh, topic in order to improve our management of integral calculus or abilities to calculate integrals uh, using different techniques and mixing them. Okay, I will start with an uh, interesting integral. This is the integral of x by okay we'll use other notation here inverse tangent of x by the x okay so remember that we use a nice trick the trick is l i e a t e yes so and it goes from left to right and it tells us like what is the preference for choosing a in this case, as you can remember, this x is an algebraic function. An inverse tangent of x is an inverse function, an inverse trigonometric function. So that's why we choose that u is tangent inverse of x and the v is x by dx. Okay, I hope it makes sense from what we say in the previous video. Now we calculate the u is equal to the x divided by 1 plus x squared because we are finding the differential of inverse tangent of x. And v, that is the integral of x by dx, is equal to x, x squared divided by 2. Yes, we don't need to add plus C or something like that because the procedure we will do more things and for now it's not important because this is not the final answer. So now we remember that we do this procedure, U, B, and then from B to the U, another arrow. And we calculate. That's all, we just need to replace and calculate. So inverse tangent of X, the X is equal to U by B, this is X squared divided two by inverse tangent of x minus integral of b this is x squared by the 2 multiplied by the u that it is the x divided uh, 1 plus x squared okay we obtained this expression here and now we do some algebra to write it more simple but it doesn't take some much, so we only need to put outside the number 2, and this is the integral x squared divided by 1 plus x squared by dx. Okay, now we need to analyze this expression that we have found here. So how can we analyze it? We have to calculate this integral. So for calculating this integral, there are multiple approach, but we will follow a simple approach. The approach is algebra. What is algebra? Algebra is just an um, dividing the numerator and denominator until the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. In this case, the degree of the numerator is 2 and the degree of the denominator is 2, two because x squared. That's why they are equal and we're required to divide them until the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. And now we perform. So what do we need to... Okay, here I have no... This is not mistake, but uh, I will write in a more suggestive form. So x squared plus 1. Now I multiply 1 plus x squared. This is x squared. 1 plus 1. 1 multiplied by 1, sorry, is 1. Then I put minus here, and this is 0 minus 1. Now we have to recall from algebra that if we want to write x squared divided by x squared plus 1 by the x this is the same that using 1 because this is from here minus because this number from here minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1 by the x 
Now we just uh, separate. This is integral of the x minus the integral of the x divided by one plus x squared. This is x minus. Okay, this integral is well known. You can find it in the integral tables. Even we will um, try to do a video about it, but how to use integral tables. But for now, I will tell you as granted that you know already that the integral of the x divided by one plus x squared is the inverse tangent of x. Okay, I can put plus c, but anyways, it doesn't matter so much because this is not the final answer. Anyway, I, I will do it because it's better to have the culture always put plus c in an indefinite integral. Okay, now we only require to take the expression, so we will copy and paste. And let's use another whiteboard. And in this whiteboard, let's choose what we require. So we don't need this because this is a bunch of algebra that we did previously to obtain a more simplified expression. Now, okay, let me organize this quickly. And we have found already the integral that is in that it appears here. So this is just integral x squared divided by two in tangent inverse tangent of x minus one divided two and we know already that this integral this integral uh, is equal to okay i will just paste here to have reference later i will delete so um, this is integral of x minus inverse tangent of x and um, plus c plus c because this is an indefinite integral Okay, if we want, we can leave the answer until here. You can, you, we can continue making a more algebra, but for now, uh, we will leave it like that because we have uh, achieved our objective and our objective was to find this integral. Okay, so this is a problem, a well-known problem. This is from a book of integral and differential calculus called Piskunov. Yes, so you can find it in the section of techniques of integration. This is a problem from here. Okay, but uh, how about other problem? This was more like, okay, you do know, there is not so much tricks, only like the algebra that you did to the final. And the idea was to do a um, simple approach, like algebraic approach, to do this integral, because this integral could be done using substitution or using, using integral substitution, but as the video says, we will do it easily. So why do we do require to do it? It's preferable to try to use simple uh, expressions. Okay, now the following problem is, let me change the color. Okay, it's integral of one divided uh, natural logarithm of x plus logarithm of logarithm of x by dx. Okay, so let's see the expression here. If we try to tackle directly, we say, okay, let's use, okay, the video is integration by parts, so we have to use integration by parts, we will say. So let's try to attack this integral. Mm. Then if we try to use our trick, yes, from here, then we will say like, oh, u is natural one divided natural logarithm. Okay, let me write this more in a more neat form. One divided natural logarithm of x, and the v is the x. So you will find like the u, is minus the x by x by natural logarithm of x at the square and b is x so if you do this calculation here you'll find at the final something like okay i will suppose this is the right way and i will show why it's not so good it can lead to an interesting result but it's not what we want at all so x by natural logarithm of x, and this is integral of uh, uh, b by du, then is x minus, then minus, they remove the x by x, natural logarithm of x to the square. So we are have arrived to x divided logarithm of natural logarithm of x, and x 
eliminate with x and this is the x divided natural logarithm of x to the square so now the problem is bigger why because we had previously natural logarithm of x now we have a square so it doesn't work in that way okay so we couldn't do in that so let's try to attack the second expression here okay the second expression it means to try to calculate natural logarithm and natural logarithm of x yes so again u by our trick is natural logarithm of natural logarithm of x and the v is the x and the u is equal to the x by x natural logarithm of x yes and v is equal to x okay you can check this derivative derivative here we can we can make a video about derivatives in more detail in the future but for now then the, given that i'm focusing on integration techniques then i i will consider that this integral can be done this derivative can be done easily or can be done with some work but it can be done okay so in next videos we will try to uh, fill that uh, possible hole okay so now let's calculate this we have the original integral that we tried to calculate and we couldn't what are we doing here we are just separating them so natural logarithm of the x and now the first integral we won't move it we could see that if we try to move it we won't have any result it doesn't work now we will use u multiplied by v so this is x natural logarithm of natural logarithm of x minus remember u by b minus integral of b by du an integral sorry integral of b b is x and du is the x divided x natural logarithm of x yes and now we calculate this one natural logarithm of x plus x natural logarithm of natural logarithm of x minus and then you remove x with x and you get the x divided natural logarithm of x and what we see here we don't know how to calculate the integral of the x divided by natural logarithm of x in terms of um in terms of elementary functions but we have found that we don't require to do it because they eliminate each other that's so so the answer is x natural logarithm of x natural logarithm uh, natural logarithm of natural logarithm of x and remember always you do an indefinite indefinite integral you have to put plus c okay so so far we have calculated two integrals one integral more uh, this is more like general integral that people used to use for checking if the students know or they don't know very well about what is integration by parts in their course and the second integral has something more interesting the second integral is an integral which is composed by two functions and the functions independently like if you try to um, integrate uh, one divided natural logarithm of x and if you try to integrate independently the natural logarithm of natural logarithm of x then you will find that this is not possible to do independently but as we construct this function we can see that the integral will uh, they will cancel each other so it means we can solve this problem without requiring more expensive techniques yeah we have found a simple solution that just requires some algebra and you require some cleverness to see the relationship from here okay so okay now we have finished this problem let's attack other problem again with natural logarithm of x so natural logarithm of x divided one by x multiplied by the x okay here what happened here we require to do uh, integration by parts because we have a root square and we have a natural logarithm and they don't behave very well so we require to make the expression homogeneous in one 
in one in one domain or this is logarithmic or this is uh, algebraic or but they cannot be both things at the same time and we know that if we find the derivative of natural logarithm of x we will find the x by uh, the, the x divided by x the differential of natural logarithm of x and it makes sense because the integral of the x by divided by root square of 1 minus x we will do it later, but for now it's something that depends on the root square of 1 minus x by a constant, we have to know. So if this game will give us like expression like root square of my 1 minus x divided by x multiplied by something. And this is an integral that maybe can be done with other uh, methods that we will show later. But at least we can see that we change from a uh, mixing of the uh, of type of equation of uh, functions, like logarithmic and algebraic, to other domain that this is uh, just algebraic. And in that domain, we will be able to uh, attack more easily. Of course, it doesn't happen always. For example, if we have to calculate the integral of natural logarithm of x divided by x by dx, we won't make such kind of movements. We will see that if we make a substitution like w is equal to natural logarithm of x, then the w equal to dx divided by x, then we can obtain easily that the integral in that case will be natural logarithm of x at the square divided by 2 plus c. But this is not the case. This is not the case. There is nothing to do between the derivative of natural logarithm of x and the root square of 1 minus x. So let's try to use, again, our trick. L, I, A, T, E. And let's classify the functions. So this is logarithmic and this is algebraic. So again, u is natural logarithm of x and dv is dx divided by root square of 1 minus x. Okay, now find the differential. This is dx divided x and v is the integral of dx divided by root square of 1 minus x. Okay, here we require to do um, integration a little bit sophisticated compared with what we did in the previous sections. Like we only had to integrate like dx or x. So you, I think you, you could see it was straightforward, but here no. Here, okay, we have to make substitution. We find differential in left and right. And now we in just replace, this is minus dw, this is root square of w, and this is minus w, 1 divided by 2, negative, of course, by dw, and this can be integrated using, uh, I think, okay, here, I think it's better to change this and have more space here. Okay, so here I will just replace plus 1 divided by minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 okay plus c we don't require at all but we just put this is 1 divided by 2 this is 1 divided by 2 plus c this is minus 2 w 1 divided by 2 plus c so this is minus 2 root of square 1 minus 6 plus c okay uh, what we have done so far, we have done an uh, expression for v. And again, I will replace here. So let me take this. I will just copy and paste here. Let me remove uh, the letters. We don't require them for now. Because we have used them already. And now we will use, this is u. u is natural logarithm of x. So natural logarithm of x multiplied by v. And v in this case is equal to minus 2, sorry, minus 2 by the root square of 1 minus x. Okay, okay, multiply. Now minus integral of v, v is again minus 2 root square of 1 minus x by the u. And the u is the x divided by x. Very nice. Now we perform some algebra here. So minus 2 root the square of 1 minus x. And just reorganizing uh, the expression will look uh, nice. 
plus 2 root square of 1 minus x divided by x. Uh, the x. Okay. Now we have to calculate this integral. This integral uh, now is not from integration by parts. If we try to do integration by parts, then we will re or if we don't return to the original one, we will re uh, create a more complicated expression. So, and also if we try to apply um, Liate, L, I, A, T, E, we will find that it's complicated to use it. So let's uh, use a uh, substitution. So substitution usually is the expression that is under uh, root squares or arctangent or some function that is not easy to grasp. So we using that heuristic, we will consider the W at the square is one minus six. Why W square? Because if this is under root square and we are in real calculus, then W must be a positive number. Uh, the, sorry, one minus six must be a positive number. And it implies that one minus x can be written as w squared for some w, yes. And now we just find the derivative. So two w dw is minus the x. And just replace. So uh, I want to calculate this integral from here. And we just replace it. This is root of square of w squared divided by. Okay, x is one minus w squared. 1 minus w squared, 1 minus w squared, and the x is minus 2 by w dw. Okay, now uh, let me copy and paste this part because we will continue making algebra, but there is no enough space in this, in this slide. So here, now, we only require to do more and more and more algebra. So minus 2 goes out w by w, w square, 1 minus w square by dw. If you let me, uh, I will put this minus here inside. How will it, how it will be? We just require to exchange the signs inside the denominator, this w square minus 1 dw. Okay, now we have to solve this integral. So how can we do it? As I said at the beginning, uh, this is about making integrals easily. So I will show tricks on the way. So this is one, one of my favorite tricks. My favorite tricks is to make the expression looks like denominator, adding something or subtracting something, and then putting the same thing, but in the, uh, the uh, sign oppose. And this is two times w square minus one divided by w square minus one plus one divided by w square minus one by the w. This is two times the integral from one plus. And this again, this is integration easily. So there is some tricks that uh, some people who wants to be fast integrators need to know. And this is one of the tricks. This is now how to uh, make integration by parts fast. Yes, in this case, um, the integral by parts of this and one divided w square minus one is one divided w minus one minus one divided w plus one. Okay. We will uh, make in the list of videos about uh, partial fractions and we will extend the explanation of this part. For now, given that we are doing easily and fast, then one of the forms to do it easily is taking by memory, you just remember it. Now we calculate. Let me take this expression from here to use in the following whiteboard. Okay, so here. Uh, also, this problem. Okay, um, sorry. Two, I will explain wh what it does, the problem comes from. Integral of one is in w. One divided by two. The integral of w minus one. One divided by w minus one is the natural logarithm of the absolute value of w minus 1 minus 1 divided 2 natural logarithm of w plus 1 okay so i will avoid i will try to avoid to have any mistake here so we multiply to w sorry and 2 by 1 divided 2 okay they eliminate each other natural logarithm of w minus 1 minus natural logarithm of w plus 1 
Yeah, I don't put plus C because in later I will put in the final answer. But for now, we don't require it. Now, uh, let's try this in more uh, simplified form. W minus one divided W plus one. Okay, now we have to remember what is W. W is equal to W is equal to what? W is equal to W square is 1 minus x. Okay? So W square is 1 minus x. So W must be root of square of 1 minus x. That's all. So here, 2 root of square of 1 minus x plus natural logarithm of absolute value of root of square of 1 minus x plus 1 divided by root of the square of 1 minus x. Sorry, is, sorry, I hear is minus, minus, and here plus one. Okay, it's a bunch of algebra. That's why you tend to have a like, mistake sometimes. It's okay. You must be aware of this possibility and be careful. Okay, now we will just join the answer. That's all. We have finally found the answer of this problem. And okay, this. So we require to do it, and we can continue making the algebra rad square one minus six. One minus six. My natural logarithm of x plus two. Uh, okay. Uh, we already. We have already put this here. Yeah, because we two and now we did this integral from here. Yeah. So we did the integral of two by root square of one minus x plus natural logarithm of absolute value of root square of one minus x minus one by root square of one minus x plus one. Okay, so uh, this problem comes from the one uh, contest in integration that is held in Medellin, Colombia. This is called uh, the contest of integration. Um, okay, some information that I can give you about this problem. About the competence at all, this is about people tend to solve like 12 integrals like of this form. And also, um, well, how much time they were given for solving this? Okay, I, I can, uh, yes. They were given five minutes. Five minutes is not so much time for solving this. That's why if you want to uh, have good condition, you have to be pretty fast. And remember some things, for example, I use a uh, fraction uh, part, uh, partial fractions in one part and just I just put I just put what is the partial fraction so it depends uh, so being successful here implies to to have good memory to remember some facts that in general you don't tend to remember very well in the real in the real approach okay so um, we had finally minus two root square one minus x by natural logarithm of x plus, uh, okay, two, the multiply by two root square one minus x. And this is also this integral is, this is plus two times plus natural logarithm of root square one minus x minus one root square one minus x plus one okay so uh, until now what we have done we have calculated this integral very well okay now right now i'm checking with all world from alpha hmm? that's why i was telling history because i was uh, typing two on world from al algebra world from alpha and world from alpha from world from alpha answer they say like this is minus two times root square of one minus x natural logarithm of x okay we make sense here uh plus four root square of one minus x minus and this is where it uh, can be confusing uh, four times 
minus four times the hyperbolic tangent a root square of one minus x plus c so what is the thing here we have a difference between between the form that we obtained and the form that uh, word from alpha uh, obtains it's, it's not uh, complicated to to see that uh, with uh, they make sense so how we will show that so the way to show that is to show that actually that actually the this value two times natural logarithm root square of one minus six minus one root square of one minus six plus one this is equal to what this is equal to minus two by two by one divided by two natural logarithm of root square of one minus six plus one root of square of one minus six minus one okay um this is this only this part from here this part from here this is exactly what we have found right here okay so it means it means that okay we i need to write it again it'll be complicated if i leave it here so i will use a smaller tangent inverse of hyperbolic root square one minus x okay so uh, in conclusion or or answer makes sense with a uh, wolfram algebra a uh, wolfram alpha if uh, we make some algebra but we can say okay anyways it doesn't it doesn't need to it doesn't need to match with wolfram alpha it's our answer and it's right and that is okay okay so here we can we could see the different problems we could see for example a classical problem from a uh, book differential calculus after that we saw a problem that was uh, had a trick a small trick and it depend on and it depend and rely on the integration by parts and finally we saw a problem that was not so easy and it required not only to know it required to know integration by parts substitution in partial fractions among other operations to arrive to the answer but okay we have obtain the answer uh, we use uh, Wolfram Alpha this is a well-known program from mathematics and it makes sense or answer and Wolfram Alpha so we can say without doubt that we have solved this problem okay thank you so much for watching this video uh, please subscribe my channel if you want to find more problems like this and especially in the channel we have the playlist about integral calculus so it will be nice if you check it too and you see the problems these are more like classical problems but in the channel you can find uh, really interesting problems from international competitions from brazil from colombia from bulgaria okay you can from many places uh, where people study mathematics and they make competence very well